Well, now to a Crime Tracker 10 update on the string of Kia and Hyundai thefts in Columbus. In the past 24 hours, at least three people have had their cars stolen. Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Andrew Kinsey. And I'm Yolanda Harris. Now, police tell us the group behind these thefts is calling themselves the real Kia boys. Crime Tracker 10's Lacey Chris looks into the trend. I thought maybe it was a dream. I'm like, OK, Glenn, wake up. Except it wasn't a dream. I got up this morning to be at work at 8. And I looked outside and my rental vehicle was was gone. Glenn Lamb was one of several people who had a Kia or Hyundai stolen overnight. What kind of a car was it? It was a Kia Forte. There was a Kia stolen on Coachman Road, a Kia stolen on Sawdust Lane, and a Hyundai stolen on Winding Way. It was an actual key. The thieves are targeting these models because they use actual keys. Thieves have learned on YouTube they can strip the columns and drive away. Now, uh, with the warming of a uh, little bit of the weather, we're seeing uh, our numbers go up, uh, but we're seeing specific vehicles being taken. So far this year, Columbus police say there have been more than 1,600 total reported stolen vehicles, of which 536 have been Hyundai and Kia models. Columbus police say there are about 20 kids who have started calling themselves the real Kia boys. Police say it's a mix of boys and girls from the ages of 12 to 18. In 21 arrests, uh, we recovered 30 vehicles, and in that, we recovered six firearms. Now, uh, stealing a vehicle is one thing. Um, going out and taking it off of a lot is one thing. Uh, but now we know that they're being involved with other crimes, um, some of them relating to violence. Uh, some vehicles have been found with bullet holes in them uh, before they're returned to their owners. Lamb says he's asked the rental car agency for another car, but this time, not a Kia. It's kind of crazy because it's like, you see so many of them. I mean, they've kind of become very popular. In Columbus, Lacey Crisp, 10TV News.